how can I identify any nitrosamine from my process? Well, to answer that, we're going to apply a well-known concept of chemistry called retrosynthesis. But what is it? How does it work? Well, to explain retrosynthesis, let's talk about something very tasty. Let's talk about pizza. And I will refer my best one, pepperoni pizza. Imagine you have a pepperoni pizza and then you separate the pepperoni. Then you have cheese and pizza dough and the topping, the pepperoni. So if I want to make a pepperoni pizza, I know which ingredients to use. I should use pizza dough and cheese and also the pepperoni. If we know how to make a pizza, we know the ingredients. When I say that, I mean it's a combination of pizza dough and cheese, the base, plus a topping, in this case, pepperoni. We know the ingredients and how to do the pizza. You just have to put the pepperoni on top of the pizza dough and cheese and then put in the oven. If I have a different topping but pepperoni, for instance, I have some mushrooms and I ask you how to make a, a mushroom pizza. Then you know how to make it because you saw once that for make a pepperoni pizza, you just use the base like pizza dough and cheese plus the topping that was pepperoni. In this case, if I give you mushroom, you just have to combine this mushroom in the pizza dough and cheese and put in the oven. But how can I relate this pizza with nitrosamines? Let's think that the base pizza dough and cheese corresponds to the n nitrose bond. Then imagine the topping is the amine. If I have a different amine, I just have to combine them with the nitrose group. When I do it, I have a nitrosamine. And to make it, to prepare it like a pizza, I just have to put it in the oven. The oven is the condition. So that's how heterosynthesis works. I know the ingredients that I can use. I know that I have to submit to a condition and I know how to combine them. And that's what we do. We see which amine is like the topping of the pizza. And I know that to make a pizza or to make a nitrosamine, I need a any nitrose bond. So it just combine the topping, the amine with the base, the nitronium ion under the right condition compared to the oven. The right condition used to be acid medium. And that's how it works. It's very simple and easy to understand if you compare with a pizza. That's how we should think about retrosynthesis to use this concept to identify any potential nitrosamine from our process. You just have to know what is the base, the nitronium ion source, and the topping are all the amines. And you have to put both in the oven, I mean in the right condition. I hope you have enjoyed this video and also if you have any suggestion of videos that you want, please let me know. I wish you all the best and enjoyable pizza day!